Heidi ho everybody today's pattern oops I'm not focused sorry today's pattern is I'm not sure exactly how to say it it's uh, by Carlos Cano it's Guinda um, it's a very steampunky sort of a thing which is really quite cool um, so you start out with uh, a dot leave a little sparkle a bit on the top and then do this shape here sort of off on both sides and then a V okay and then from that you build out a sort of a roundish rectangle on either side and that leaves this V in the middle right and then you put another V and you just keep building the rectangle on each side and then the V. A rectangle on each side and then the V. And you just keep building until you're done building. And then at the bottom, do something to finish it off. And at the top, you can add a little squiggly thing to finish it off. Sort of a, it's, it's, it's its own thing, that's for sure. And then you want to make sure you put your little dots because the dots is what makes sort of like rivets and looks makes it look steampunky. And this one's definitely going to be one where the shading is going to make all the difference in the world. So we're just going to start in one corner, build our way out, see what happens. It uh, may end up being a Christmas tree because that's kind of what I see. I, I think I'm going to do a steampunk Christmas tree here. Anyway, uh... We're going to start with our little circle at the top. Don't, don't fill it all the way in. Leave a leave a bit of a sparkle. Hey, can you see that? Okay. All right. So we're going to do this shape at the top, and then the V. Okay. And then from there, we're going to do sort of a rectangle. And you want to do your dots. Okay. And then from here, there's a V. And then this rectangle kind of comes from here and down and up into there somewhere. And here and down and up into there somewhere. I may come back and do the dots after. Yeah, I think I might. And then a V. It's sort of organic, it's just kind of doing its own thing.
Am I being very precise? No, I am not. Could I? Absolutely. All right, I've made myself a steampunky Christmas tree just because I can. G U I N D A. I'm going to give that a little bit of shading and be done because I just feel like it's done. overlaps. I'm going to put a little bit more on one side than the other. On this side, I'm just going to do one single little line. Just barely anything. On this side, I'm going to do a little bit more. And that will give it a bigger illusion of depth. Same thing here. These are going to get just a tiny bit on the edge. On this side it's going to get a little bit more. And then the same thing here. Um, these ones will have more. I'm thinking of the light is coming from like over here. So that'll be shaded more. This will be shaded less. That'll still be shaded quite a bit. That one won't have any at all. That actually is too much right there. Just a teeny tad too much. I'm going to remove just a little bit of that pencil. A little bit is more than I needed. I need more though. A little bit and more. A little bit and more. And more here. Okay, on this side, none. But this is under. That's under, so it gets more. And that's under. Okay, and then
right, see how I did that? So it's got more shading and more shadow on one side than the other to make it look a little more 3D. It's just gonna get a thing at the bottom. And perhaps a little horizon line here, just because. There we go. There's my steampunky Zentangle Christmas tree thingamabob. Yep, it's winter. Uh, let's see, can I, I guess I have to leave it kind of like that, or you kind of don't see it right. Cut, suppose I could have done it straight up and down, but then it would have been much smaller. I wanted it big. So, I went across the tile. This was fun. Didn't take long. I highly recommend giving this one a go. Get yourself some steampunk on. Alright, you guys have a blessed day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.